All right, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Jules, and um, I just got done recording a couple of custom edition map reviews. Two reviews I'll be up here this week. Um, but I remember to comment on the last review I did. It was an old homie of mine asking, you know, where to download the game or wondering about a tutorial. And I figured, you know what? Let me go ahead and just do a tutorial. Um, I've seen plenty of tutorials out there in other languages. I haven't seen one. Or really needed one but anyways I figured you know why not make my own I guess I could maybe be a little bit simpler I'm good at giving directions so anyways first thing you're gonna oh, Jesus Christ first thing that you're gonna need to do is go to hce.halomaps.org this is where all the Halo custom edition stuff is or a good amount of it hella maps resources forums all sorts of stuff is on this website I know some people put maps on other websites, but this is the only one I know of. This is the one I trust the most. And so once you're here, you are going to scroll down, and you're going to go over. You see file sections, all files. We're going to go to Halo Custom Edition Game. And we are first going to go down and just download the game in English first. And then you're also going to come up here, and you are going to actually download one of the patches for the game which I'm pretty sure 1.09 is not it it's 1.10 so we're gonna need to find the patch so you'll go to official Halo CE files and it'll be this one right here and so you'll go ahead and do download on both of these And of course, it will start to download within 20 seconds. Now, I already have, you know, I have Halo Custom Edition installed. So when you go through the setup, you're just going to open the setup file. Um, I'll actually go ahead and pull up my setup file. So as you see right here, I do have the file here to open up. You can go ahead and double click it. It's a safe download. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, you'll run the setup. Of course, for me, it's not really going to run anything as I already have it in, on install. Then I don't want to do an uninstall and you know have to go through the hassle of all that again and putting my maps back into the files. So you'll run the installation. Don't know why my computer is being a little bit slow. I guess it's not faring well with having a lot of things open for some reason. Don't know why. Usually it's pretty quick. Yeah, so anyways, you'll go through your installation, you'll go through your installation directories. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the only thing is you will need a product key in order to play the game. So for and that, so you can literally just look up Halo PC product key and someone will have one for you anywhere. We'll check this Steam form right here and hey, look at that. We got a key for it right here that someone gave away. And there's plenty. A lot of people put them out so that way people can go ahead and try playing the game. And then once you download this file, you will just run it. Um, the update itself is very straightforward. You run it and it's straightforward prompts. It directs you on everything to do and all that stuff. All right, so once that's done and you've done both of those things and you've gotten the game installed, now there's one more thing you will want to do before you even start playing the game and you this is where you're gonna do it. So you should have a, des a sh desktop shortcut created. Make sure that that happens during installa installation. God, I can't, I can't talk. Go to properties. Now, initially, it's just gonna say you're gonna see the pr you're gonna see your C drive all the way over to where it says Halo CE.exe, and then the quotation marks. Now, on the outside of those, you're gonna want to add all this text. So the dash vid mode space 1024 comma 768.85 and then you're also going to want to do the space in the minus console and the space and then the minus dev mode those two things so the vid mode um, on a lot of newer computers people have issues starting it up it has to do you know it'll say that like something's wrong with DirectX or something with graphics you know a whole bunch of shit like that this is a fix for it changing the vid mode locking the vid mode to that video mode will so using this video mode will help the game work on a newer computer. Um, as for the console and the dev mode, the console will let you push the tilde key, which is right above the tab key, and let you type into the console to be able to open maps, 
and things like that and dev mode also gives you those permissions and lets you run like any cheats run maps and stuff like that and that's pretty much what that does so make sure that you have these things in if you want to be able to play custom maps now the next step we're going to be going over we're going to go into our c drive here this is going to be very important for the game to work like how i get it to work so we're going to go over to our program files and it's a 32-bit file uh, 32-bit program, so it'll be in your x86, go into Microsoft Games, Halo Custom Edition, and then go into Maps. Now, you'll have the basic maps from Beaver Creek all the way down to Timberland. You won't have any of these. Um, you can copy these over. If you had the base Halo PC, you could copy these over. Now, these that I have here are actually custom versions from CMT. This is SPV1. Um, so these are all the custom maps that I have as of today's date on the 27th. So the first thing that we're going to need to do, now you are going to have a version of a UI.map already in here. Um, you're going to want to replace the version that's already in there. You're going to have the original one, because when you first open the screen, you're just going to see multiplayer, profile, settings, all those things. I'll put a screenshot up. You can have the basic Halo PC you know, opening minus the single player uh, slash campaign ability. So what we're going to do here, going back over onto halomaps.org, I'm going to scroll and we are going to go down to custom UI files and from there you can pick a whole bunch of different UIs that you can use you know there's there's god damn it there's ones that look like Halo Reach um, just ones that have the campaign you want one that already has the campaign mode so one that I currently use right now I use this top one here there's actually a second version of it right here I might actually use this I might actually install this one to be honest so we'll have your campaign, firefight, multiplayer. Now the cool thing about this one is this person basically took, you know, a lot of known maps that are already on, you know, popular on Halo maps. You go into campaign and you'll see those. And then you go into firefight and you'll see the popular firefight maps that are already there. So that way you can preload them without having to open up the console. So, but of course that only works if you have those specific maps already downloaded. So for example, you want to go into campaign and you wanted to run BioHalo, you would also need to make sure that you already have the BioHalo file loaded into your maps folder. So now I'm going to teach you basically this process. All right, I'll go ahead and just show it right now because I'm pretty much, yeah, I'm going to be replacing my UI anyways. So this process that I'm about to go about, this is also going to be the same process that you will go through to install any custom map at all in this game this is the same this is the process that you will go through as you know the ui is a dot map file so it'll be the same shit for custom maps as well um so we're going to download it and we are going to throw this into i have a custom folder for it oh shit wrong folder should have a halo ce map files folder somewhere Uh, yep. So I like to just place all my zip files in here. And then all the other, you know, once I've extracted them, I put them in like another place. Okay, so anyways, move this over. These are all the maps that are on my game right now. Um, let me see, Halo CE zip files. These are some that I just haven't put already into like the use section. Fuck, no, don't do that. Okay, so some of these I haven't put them in like the you know used whatever that I have, so I need to do that real quick. Or actually, I don't know. There might be some stuff that I haven't even extracted yet. So actually, let me not mess with that. So universal UI map replacement is what we have. That's what I downloaded. So you're gonna extract it. Just copy a free version of WinRAR, or download it, and just never buy it because they still let you use it without buying it because logic. So anyways that just extracted and it should be in its own it might be in its own folder or it might just be chilling so okay so anyways now we see um i went ahead and just extracted it to its own folder and we go in and we now have our ui.map so we're gonna go ahead and click drag this over we're gonna replace the old ui now and continue so that's done now Basically, follow this process anytime you want to download another map. So, say 
you want to go ahead and just download some random single player map like I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to the CMT one so these are different versions of the actual Halo 1 campaign but you know custom versions you go the, through the same process you would download it you would extract it once it's in your downloads or wherever you put them and copy and paste it into your custom edition maps now to run a map that's what I'm going to show you next and that will be the end of the tutorial so we're going to load up Halo Custom Edition now so I wonder how different this UI is because this is going to be my first time peeping it All right, so you see we have our different sections. So that's like the classic campaign. We live the humans. Oh well, yeah. So of course, like I said, if you already have certain maps downloaded, like if you know for a fact that you have like Infestation downloaded, which I did a video on that recently, you could just go ahead and click it and then load it up on whatever difficulty you want to play it. But otherwise, which not all maps, not all custom maps pop up here, only certain popular ones do, you would go about this process and you would hit the tilde key, it's the little squiggle, you know, the just looking key, right above tab, type map underscore name space and then the maps file name like the actual name of the file so we'll go ahead and look back over really quickly at where I have some map files so like let's say I want to load I'm just gonna do one of the base maps like uh, rat race for example you know if you wanted to load up rat race so you go back in We've got that still pressed, and it would just be Rat Race. And it would load you into the map. Except with no weapons and shit. Which is weird. Okay, I don't know why this is all frozen up. It normally won't be like this. Uh, fuck, I did not mean to do that. So I broke the UI real quick, but we're just going to do another map, and we're going to do map name, uh, let's do firefight, um, airlock, let's see if I have that downloaded. Hey, look at that, yeah, I do. This is a sound test to preload the sounds. And that's how you would launch a map. I mean, that's pretty much it. So yeah, hopefully you guys found this tutorial somewhat useful. Apologies that I didn't go through the entire installation process and all that, but believe me, it's it's really it's very simplistic. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything, just go into the comments. I'll get the notification and I'll hit you up with a very detailed answer to the best of my ability. Um, if there's any big errors or issues people are having, I could make a separate video on how to remedy it, if it's possible for me to replicate whatever's going on, and repair the error. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, leave a like if you enjoyed. Um, download links for everything, I'll throw those into the description. Um, eventually, depending, if you guys ever want to know about, like, open source and what that is, and how it works and all that, I can do a separate video on that in the future but most maps right now don't make use of that um, plugin. Only a certain, you know, very sparse number of them actually make use of it. So anyways, that's it, pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Hopefully I can learn to stop tripping on my own words. And yeah, peace, guys.